Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how to make a continuous servo out of a regular servo, not a digital servo, but a regular servo. So, what you want to do is you want to start by taking out these four screws and open it up. And also take that screw out so you can get this top case off. But anyway, open it up and follow me. Um, what I'm doing here is, first of all, I've taken off this main gear. I can get it off one second. And what I've done is right here on this gear, there's a little notch that's stuck down. And I've grinded that off so it can spin freely all the way around and around. So now I've got to go mod the electronic side of it. So I'll be back. So all right, I got to the electronic side of the servo, and this is gonna be a complete pain in the butt. As you can see right here, here, and here, the motor is soldered into the board. So I'm gonna actually have to figure out how to get those all hot at the same time and pull this board out, because the motor is pretty much stuck in there. So uh, most of those other servos, they have wires that go to the motor, so you won't have to deal with this, but uh, yeah, I'll be back when I get this undone. Okay, so this wasn't too hard. What I had to do was the one in the middle, it's kind of like a little prong that was folded over the board, so I had to heat it up, bend that back, and then just slowly heat one side and heat the other, this and that, and then kind of pull up at the same time with a, with a very small screwdriver. And kind of just go back and forth with it until it would pop off. So anyway, it was just held on by solder. So now, take note of where you know what the name of the device is. The same kind of device that tells, it's basically what tells your servo when it's centered or not. It's gonna be hard to see with the camera. But uh, in here there's gonna be three plugs that go to this sensor that tells your servo when it's centered. So you're, what you're gonna wanna do is take the center one, keep note of what's the center one, and then you wire your resistors to the two outer ones. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be back. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and wire my two resistors in. So what you do is you pair them up like that. Um, what you want is that center wire to connect to both resistors and then the two outer wires connect to one resistor and one resistor. So that basically is tricking it into thinking it's in center point at all times and that way you can control the motor and it won't be trying to correct itself to get back into center. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and solder that on and I'll be back. Alright, so this is what it should look like once you get it all soldered up. Uh, it's not the most beautiful soldering job I've ever seen, but uh, you know, whatever works. So now I've got to insulate this and make these keep this side from touching that side and shorten out. So anyway, I'm gonna, in, I'm gonna wrap this all up and I'm gonna stick it back in the servo and then I'll be back. Alright, so I've got it all back into the casing. Yeah, it fit in there pretty good. It was actually easier putting this back on than it was taking it off. So, you know, I've got that all soldered back in. That's a more difficult part of this servo than any other servos I've done. But uh, just work around that and you'll be good. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and power it on with just using a little orange uh, DSM-2 receiver and a DSM transmitter, DSM-2 transmitter. and. Uh, See if it works before I put everything else back together. So let's plug this battery in. Sorry about that. Okay, so it is spinning it's very slowly. So that must mean there's some sort of input into here. There we go, guys. It's getting close and it stopped. So what I'm doing is basically, if you put input this way, it's going to come on. If you put input that way, it's going to come on. So, so what happened was it was just set a little bit to the left, making it think there was input, and that's why I was spinning. So now it stopped because I have it centered now. This is very complete, all the way centered in the controls, and it does not spin. So it worked, guys. So what I'm going to have to do now is put this back casing back on and. One other thing I'm going to have to do is this right here, let's see if I can focus in on it, let's see, this right here 
that ge the gear where the servo uh, connection is that comes on the outside of the case has this little groove thing in it and that's connected to that little sensor that I was talking about. I'm gonna have to, I'll put the name below in this video because I don't really know what the name of it is. <laughs> I'm a slacker. So, uh, yeah, see this groove right here? It's all black, it's hard to see. But you can see it right there. So that, basically that groove right there fits into this gear and what you want to do is that actually halts it from spinning because it only goes around I think about 180 degrees or something like that and that halts it from spinning so what I'm gonna do is this one has enough to ride on that first little cylindrical cup and that's just extra sticking out so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this and grind that piece off and we should be good to go so I'm gonna go ahead and grind that off and I'll be back all right, we well, lucky enough to see me grind it off. That was nice. FPV plane. But, uh, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grind it off. It should be plastic. It should come off pretty easy. All righty, so I've ground that off, as you can see. So now that gear can just keep spinning around and around and use it as a motor so there's nothing going to be halting it from spinning uh, every servo is a little bit different every brand every make is going to be a tad bit different so you know just use self like reverse engineering self investigation whatever you want to call it just be smart before you put it back together make sure there's nothing that's going to like snag make sure there's no stops that are still there that you need to grind off you know just look at your servo be smart about it test it out before you put it back together but yeah so anyway I'm gonna put it all back together and we'll be pretty much done. Alrighty guys, so I got my gears configured again. Uh, just, I had forgot which way I put them on and I took them off so I had to play with them a little bit to get them back on right. So uh, yeah, anyway, before you put it all back together, just make sure it works. Just test it out. Don't play with it too much because it'll start popping off without the case on it. But uh, just make sure it works, again, before you put it back together, save yourself a headache. Let it go all the way around. I wouldn't recommend going full speed because it's going to fly off. But anyway, as you can see, mine works. So check yours if you're doing this. Just make sure it works before you put it all back together. So anyway, I'm going to screw back together. So, um, yeah, I've got it all connected back up, all put back together, and I will shell test it. So, I've got it centered on my controller again, so it won't keep spinning by itself. And the moment of truth. So, it's working, guys. Um, as you can see, it goes all the way around, 360 degrees and more. <laughs> So there you go, you get your own servo motor or continuous servo. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If this video helped you at all, please comment and subscribe and thumbs up. Thumbs up, people. This was a bit of work to make this video. If it helped you, just, just give me your support. Appreciate it so much. Bye.